Hello, hello, it's Kat and I am back today with my hashtag team project pan video. Uh, this is my check-in for the start of May. It is currently nearly mid-May, but I've had a very busy few weeks. Uh, my son turned one at the end of April. We planned a big party. Then it was my birthday, then it was Mother's Day. It was just busy. We had a friend down from interstate staying about two weeks, so Stuff was happening. I haven't filmed, I haven't posted a video in a little while, um, but I'm ready to do an update on my Project Pan. I have been using my products. I have been making progress. I think there's still one in my bathroom. I'll go get it. I knew there was something missing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go through the products that I've used up, talk about the products I've made progress on, and discuss products I've made no progress on. I don't know if there's any this month. I made some pretty good progress. I'm proud of myself. One good thing about being busy is that you don't really have time to mess around with makeup or products. So when you use them, you're just like, give me my project pan stuff. At least I know how to use that and I don't have to think about it. So I have made some good progress even though I've been really busy. All right, I've somehow used up seven products since last month, which is nuts. Uh, the first one is my concealer. This is my Revlon Colorstay something concealer. What is it? It's all worn off, who knows? It's in the description box. Uh, this one, look, I took out the stopper, I think last month, it is pretty much clean. There is a bit of product right down the bottom. You'd need like a long spatula to get into that. I could do that. I don't really want to. I feel like this is done. I've scraped off the wand. It is very clean. Um, and funnily enough, this is my, I only have one concealer open at my makeup desk now and it's it's liberating. I don't know, I don't think I've had that for a long time and I really dig it. So, so I'm not gonna replace that with another concealer in this project because I don't have any to replace it with, which is great, it's a lovely feeling. I also used up my Nabla powder. Um, I don't know how I use this up so quickly, but um, look, the, the thing, the sifter is still in there. There's barely any product, there's little flecks. Um, I don't know if you'll see it properly in this lighting. It's it's late at night. It's like 10.30 at night. It, is, it happens. Look, there's no natural light. What can I say? Um, yeah, I got everything out I can. Um, and I went through that pretty quickly. But I have explained that I use quite a lot of powder. I do have oily skin. And also the primer I was using previously, and I think I used it up last month, was like absorbing a lot of powder. So I sort of went through powder really, really fast. I am actually replacing that with two powders. Now, I was trying to figure out a powder to introduce, to replace that with, because I just used that up a couple of days ago. So the last couple of days I've been trying to figure out what powder to use, but in my powder stash, I like all of them. There's not many that I'm like, yes, I want to use it up. I don't love it. They're, they're all products that I'm like, I'm sort of a little bit precious about them, except for these two, except for these two. This is my newest, powder acquisition it was a mistake i thought this was a powder foundation it's not it's just a setting powder a loose setting powder it's by revlon it's a loose finishing powder in the shade light medium it's a little bit deep for me but it's really nice to set light foundations i do have some foundations that are too light for me like they're dead of winter shades and we've just sort of come into we're halfway through autumn here so i don't have heaps of color going on but um i'm not as pale as those foundations that I have. So dusting a little bit of this um, light medium powder does sort of make it work really well, but I can't use this with everything. So I thought it's a good one to introduce because I don't need to rush this one. I don't need to get through heaps of powders because I don't want to right now, but I still want to have a powder that I'm working through. And also I've got this one, which is really interesting. This is by Shura Mira and it is the light bulb glowing face powder and it's a colorless powder. Now this is an interesting one. Um, so I have been testing this a little bit the last couple days because I wasn't sure if I wanted to include it or not. Um, this is a lot lighter. I don't know if you can see the color difference, probably not in the plastic, but maybe if I open it up, you can. Can you see that there is a color difference there, obviously? So it's quite light. It's also quite glowy. So there is a bit of a micro fine shimmer in it that does add a bit of a luminosity to the skin, which would be great if you've got Dry skin, for me, I've got oily skin, so I didn't want to touch this in summer. It'd make me too oily, but I thought it might be nice on more sort of matte finish foundations um, in the cooler months, because again, this is a little bit light for me. It is colorless, so it is translucent, but it still gives a little bit of a 
light hint to the skin because it's got that light um, reflective glow, which looks a little bit, not chalky, that's the wrong word, but a little bit light for me. So I thought what I've been doing the last couple of days, which works really well actually, is I've been mixing these two together. So together these are barely used um, and they contain a lot of product. This is 15 grams and this is 28.3 grams. So I've got a lot of product here and surprisingly they work, not surprisingly, they work really nice together. I've been testing them out together the last couple of days and I really like the effect. It is a little bit finicky, so it's not gonna be something I wanna do every day, but what I tend to do is just open a lid, tap one into the lid, tap the other one into the lid, mix it together, and it sort of creates my skin tone, which is good, so not too deep, not too light, and it gives a little bit of a luminosity that isn't so like reflective that this can sort of give on its own. So, so I'm wearing this combo today. It's a really pretty color. And like I said, it gives a little bit of a glow to the skin, but nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna to try to pan both of these. I feel like it's gonna take a long time because again, I'm not gonna to wanna to go to the effort of like, you know, putting them both in the lid and mixing them every day. But um, yeah, we'll see if I can get through these by the end of the year. Oh, I finally used up my um, heel balm. This is the Shoal Eulactyl Heel Balm Gold. So I was making the progress down the sides. You can see with my nail polish, so I was sort of squeezing it, squeezing it out, marking it. So last month I was up to there and I've used it up since. Um, I'm glad I've used it up. I didn't like this, it's very greasy. Um, I am not actually gonna put a foot cream in to replace it because Admittedly, I have one foot cream and I really enjoy it, so I don't want to rush through it. Um, but instead, I decided to maybe use this as a hand foot cream. This is the Chemistry brand Hand Chemistry Hand Cream. I love this. I've used it so many times, but I've noticed that I don't know why this particular time around, I don't like this sort of bottle format. This is a large bottle, it's 240 mils. You can also get it in the squeezy tube, so similar to something like this. Smaller than this, but similar concept where you just sort of squeeze it out and that works a treat. Whereas this pump bottle, I'm having a few issues with. Firstly, I'm finding that the hand cream is too thick, so it doesn't settle down the bottom, which you actually need it to do to be able to pump the product up from the bottom. It just sits around the side, and is impossible to get out through the pump. So what I was starting to do um, is actually take the lid off and use the, use the tube that's connected to the pump to sort of pick up the product off the sides and I was using that to then apply to my hands, but then that broke. So as I was sort of trying to get the product off the tube uh, just last night or the night before, it actually broke off and I was like, that's it, this packaging, I love the product inside, but this packaging is so annoying. So I've decided I'm gonna target this, not because I dislike the product, just because the packaging is frustrating. And the way I'm gonna use it and the way that I've started using it is just take the lid off and then sort of tap some out and eventually some comes out. So that's how I have to use this. It is annoying, so I might try to speed through it by using it on my feet and my hands before I go to bed. Um, but I don't think I've got heaps left of this. Like I said, I got to the point where it was just around the sides. So clearly I used up quite a lot of it, but I will weigh this and keep track of that. Another product that I used up is uh, the Fourth Ray Beauty. This is the Pink Grapefruit Body Milk. So I'm not sure if you can see the marks very well, but I started it up here and then last month I was down to here and I just made an effort to use this pretty much most days and um, I got through it really quickly. It's very, very watery because it's a, a body milk, not like a thicker lotion. So it's really easy to use and that's done. So what I'm gonna replace that with is I was going through my cupboards looking for some conditioner the other day and I noticed I have a full uh, a full version of the Nooks like dry oil, the multi-purpose oil. So I thought this is something that I can target. We've got winter coming up. Um, I can use sort of body oils on the regular without it feeling too greasy. Um, so this was pretty much unused. I've used it a couple times since pulling it out the other day, um, but I have marked it up here. So um, there's a blue mark, it's like right at the top. So I like this oil. I think it's a really nice body oil. The thing I hate about it is that it comes in a spray, not a pump. So um, it's designed that you can spray it on your body and sort of work it in, but that doesn't work because it inevitably will spray all over your tiles. There'll be a thin, sort of film of oil in your bathroom, which is not got good. I 
I have slipped trying to use this multiple times. So what I just tend to do is I spray it, I cut my hand, I spray it a few times and then put it on like it was a pump. Uh, if it wasn't for that dispensing mechanism, I would probably enjoy this a lot more. But like I said, I like the product. I just don't like the packaging. So I want to use this one up and it's, yeah, it's going to take a while because it's a full bottle. I also used up one of my shampoos. So this is the Lush uh, Fairly Traded Honey Shampoo. Um, so I only introduced it last month. It was only down to here. So it was one of those things that was kicking around my shower for a while. And I thought if I put in my project pan, it'll encourage me to use it faster. Um, and I've used it up, so that's good. I'm not going to introduce another hair product because I already have another shampoo that I'll probably, well, I'll definitely finish by next month and then I'll introduce some more hair products then. Still got more. I've used up seven products. So, um, the next one is my Precisely My Brows, yeah, Precisely My Brows Brow Pencil by Benefit. Um, this is the micro brow pencil. I really love this pencil. I'll have a photo on the screen where it was up to last month but it is completely done. There is nothing there. I, I love this pencil. I do have a backup um, that I was thinking of including, but I don't want to use it up because I enjoy it. So I'm going to sort of savor it. I've only got one backup. Um, so, and it's not even a backup. It's been used for a while. I sort of think I had it in my handbag. So I'm not going to stress about replacing this right now. I also have another brow product in here. The last thing I used up was my Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eyeliner in the shade Cinderella. This was a really pretty sort of gray blue shade. Now I've had, I had four of these. I've used up two, so I'm going pretty much if I use them regularly, I use up like one every two months. The first one I used up was a brown. This one, yeah, is that sort of, um, blue gray shade which is really pretty previously i only used these on my waterline because they are really thin and they're very creamy so they, they're really beautiful to glide onto the waterline um but i have been using them on uh, my top lid to create the sort of little wing and liner as you do that's what pencil liners do liners so the reason i wanted to use all of mine up. So again, I've used two and I've got two more to go is just because these are very creamy formula and they can dry out. And once they've dried out, you pretty much can't use them. Um, so I want to use them all before they reach that point. So I don't know if this was starting to dry out, but there were definitely times where I'd go to put it on my top lash line and it would break. So that's why I think I've used this up already. Um, I think if it wasn't for it breaking a couple of times, um, I would have been able to maybe get another month use out of this. So I really like these liners, but if you're not going to use them within say a 12 month period, I, I would say it's not worth the money because they can sort of dry out, maybe break, maybe, yeah, be a little bit difficult to use. Um, but overall, yeah, I like these and I'm going to be working in another shade, which is my dark brown. So this is the shade Truffled. Um, I'm wearing it today. I really enjoy this shade. It's, I think it was the first shade that I bought from this range. So I probably should use this up fastest. Uh, I do have a burgundy left. So that one's going to be interesting. I'm hoping I do get through this um, probably in the next couple months so I can use the burgundy still in the cooler months. I think that's a sort of nice color, like a berry sort of eye in winter. So we'll see how I go. Maybe I'll introduce that one next month and we'll just I'll work on both of them at the same time. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I will weigh this. I'm actually curious because I know how much the packaging weighs from previous months. All right. These pencils are the worst to weigh because since the measurements are so minute, the scales can vary quite a lot. But from panning these in the past, I think the packaging weighs around 5.1 grams. And this is currently at about 5.1 anywhere between 5.16 and 5.19 so so if i use this quite consistently i think i'll be able to get it done in a couple months so that's why i'm introducing that all right so those are the products that i've used up and the things that i'm replacing them with um now it's time to show progress on things uh the first one is my uh Davines oi shampoo as you can tell i've been using it a lot so it was up to here it's now down to there so i used I use quite a lot of it. Um, I did actually double cleanse with this and the Lush one. Um, I do, I explained, I think in my last project pan that I do have quite limp hair. It's quite wavy, it can be quite frizzy. Um, I find if I use things that are quite heavy, so this is quite a moisturizing shampoo, um, it can weigh down my hair and sort of make it look a little bit 
greasy and gross. I'm actually finding that if I double cleanse, I get a long, lot more longevity out of like fresh looking hair. So what I did was I would start with um, the Lush shampoo and then I'd follow up with a little bit of this. And I just found that that would make things sort of extra like clean and light and clarified and it made my hair look better for longer. I didn't need to use as much dry shampoo um, in the days that I wasn't washing my hair. So that's why I went through both of them so quickly. Um, so definitely next month I'll use this one up. Last month, I also introduced this product. Um, it's a bit of an interesting one. It's from Mecca Cosmetica and it's a multi-purpose plumping balm. So this is a product that you can use as like a moisturizing mask, as a moisturizer, as a moisturizing primer. Um, I have used this as a moisturizer, like a morning moisturizer. And then I sort of leave it on for say half an hour, an hour, put my base on. It is a little bit thick, like not balmy, but it's definitely, um, quite thick for me to put sort of foundation directly on it. Um, but I actually really like this product. It's nice as a hand cream. It's nice as a thick moisturizer. Um, I like the scent of it. Uh, you only really need to use a small amount because it is so rich. I think that's the word I'm looking for is rich. It has just like a nice sort of clean sort of skincare scent and I've been enjoying using this. So uh, I was thinking that if I didn't like this, I would just get through it really quickly as a hand cream, but I'm sort of savoring this a little bit because I do really enjoy it. So last month it was up to here, now it's down to there. So all I tend to do is squeeze the product down and where it sort of sits, I mark it with nail polish. Um, so theoretically, if I go based on that sort of progress, it, I've got like a month or two to go, but I am sort of pulling back from this and savoring it a little bit. I think it'd be really nice in winter as well. I can get dry patches. Um, so I feel like if there's areas of like concern, if I target those, I think this would be a nice like overnight mask. Um, I'm cautious about putting it around my eyes because I can get milia. I have been getting that a little bit from an eye cream, I think lately. So I've been a little bit cautious with really rich products, but I've been really enjoying this. I think it's a nice product. And if you got, if you have dry skin, I would, recommend checking it out. It's quite nice. All right. I'm not sure if I've made much progress on my Jouer bronzer. Um, that's what it looks like here. I did hit pan last month and I hope I've been making the pan a bit bigger. I have sort of switched to using my pan, that palette bronzer. Um, I need to repress that. So I want to do a check-in today with that. That'll be my next video. Um, and then I will repress it so I can access it a bit easier. Um, but I was sort of back to focusing on that for some reason. So I, yeah, I don't know if I've made much progress, but I have been using it. I'm using this today. It's a nice bronzer. I will continue to use it. I enjoy it. There's not many things here. Have I gone through this so quickly? I don't know, maybe. Uh, one product that I'm sort of slacking off with, and I just think it's because I'm not leaving the house much. And I, I don't know, I haven't been using like a lot of makeup or heaps of steps. I've sort of been keeping it quite minimal, like just a foundation or just a concealer bit of powder, something on the eyes really quickly. I haven't been doing like the primer and the finishing spray. So my glow recipe, watermelon glow ultra fine mist is a little bit, I haven't been making as much progress as I would like. Uh, in previous years, I can really get through a finishing spray very, very fast, but this year, not so much. Hopefully that's a bit easier to see. I introduced it up there and now we're down here. So um, very, very small increments each month, but um, there's still progress. Something that I have been enjoying having my project pan, I didn't expect to enjoy this as much as I have, but I think it's because this is a mini and it's easy to get through. Um, my OPI nail polish that I am wearing today, so I did introduce it last month. Uh, I was talking about how I love this nude because it's like a nice peachy nude. It's not a true nude. Um, it is quite peachy, but it's really flattering. My nails are all chipped and crap at the moment, but I am wearing it. I'm also wearing it on my toes and it's a really gorgeous toenail color. I would totally buy this in the big size because I really enjoy it. Um, I don't remember the name because it's got a number on it, but I'll have the name and all the other products I've talked about in the description box. So if you want to know what this is, it's in the description box. Anyway, so this is a mini nail polish after all that spiel and I've used quite a lot of it. So that green mark is where it was up to when I introduced it last month and then it's down to this sort of blue mark. So I've used quite a lot of it to the point that it's now very hard to get out. It's quite gluggy. I need to sort of like shake it a lot to get the product even on the brush. So I feel like this last little bit is gonna take quite a lot of patience to get through. Um, but to use up 
that amount that I have done. I think I put it on my nails twice and my toes twice. So it's the only toenail polish I've been wearing in the past month, um, but I have been sort of doing my nails at least once a week um, and half the time I've been using this. So um, yeah, because this is a small bottle, it's been really easy to see progress on, which is very encouraging. So I think I've got one more month of this and then I'll introduce a new one, which is exciting. All right, let's do some more visual progress before I finish up with some products I need to weigh. Um, talking about brow products, before I do have my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. It's the one that I have been sort of exclusively wearing now that I've finished up my precisely my brows. So this I've been going through really quickly um, just because it's the only brow pencil I've been using. Uh, there's only a tiny bit left, like a, a smidge. Like this is like a few days use, maybe a week's use, um, probably a week's use. Um, I will have a comparison on the screen of where I was up to last month versus this month, so you can see how much I've been using it. Um, I am actually getting my brows retouched in two days time. So I did mention that I wanted to use up some of my brow pencils um, because I was getting my brows tattooed. So I had them nano tattooed. Right now I do have brow products in because they start quite the people that I got that did my brows are really, really great. Um, they did a really natural job, but they did put do it really light. So it looks good when I'm wearing no makeup, but when I'm wearing any ounce of makeup, my brows sort of look too light for my face. So they start light and then they do a touch up session where they sort of build on it and tweak things. So I'm getting that done in two days time. So after that's done and after that's healed, I'll be able to judge how much brow product I need to use. I'm hoping that on sort of minimal makeup days, I don't need to use any brow products. That's the whole point of getting my brows tattooed. Um, so I do think I still need to have the odd brow pencil in my collection, but I don't need to, but I won't go through them as, as quickly as I currently do. So, so that's why I'm only keeping this one in my project pan at the mo moment. And I'm not adding in any other brow product because I'm sort of seeing roughly how much I'll use after I get the tattooing done again. So um, yeah, making good progress on this, um, but I feel like I'll be done by the end of the month anyway. I'll be done next month. All right, I've got my little mini perfume and it's sitting just under the line because I used it again after I marked it. Um, last month I did use a full one of these um, and I thought, okay, I'll be able to do it again, but I sort of forgot about it. Um, whatever, it is what it is. It's an Hermes, uh, rose scent it's a little bit too rosy for me it's a rose scent it is what it is um so i sort of mix it like i'll spray this and then like a citrus one and have like a mix but hopefully you can see where it was up to when i introduced it and where it's up to now and it's just a little bit left so i spent so much time last year and the year before whittling down my perfume collection i don't actually want to use up any full size perfumes because I love them all and I don't have too many anymore. Um, so I'm just focusing on minis at the moment. All right, I'm gonna have to remark this. I didn't realize that I smudged the nail polish, uh, but this is my lip balm. This is the ultraviolet sheen screen hydrating lip balm in the shade peach. And I have been using this the last couple of months. I'll show you the markings, but hopefully you can see where the blue was and then I sort of accidentally wiped it off. Hopefully you can see that there's supposed to be a mark around here, a blue one, but it sort of was rubbed off. This is a really slow going product. Um, I'm making like tiny little notches every month, but at the same time, I'm trying to use up, or trying to use and test my whole lip collection this year. So um, I don't really use a lot of other lip products consistently. I'm sort of rotate, like today, I'm, I'm testing out a Kylie one. So, um, I'm always using something different. So the fact that I'm making any progress is good enough for me. All right, my MAC products. Uh, I've decided to show progress of my fluid line in past twilight in a bit of a different way this month. So what I did, I actually painted nail polish on the bottom of where it was. Um, so we can sort of see how it's changed. I should have done that earlier. I didn't even realize that that was a thing. I suppose you need a bit of pan to do that, but it's it's been helpful. So I thought I'll zoom in and show you what I've actually done. So essentially I painted uh, the shape of the pan last time around, and then you can sort of see 
how I've made some progress. So I'm not sure if it's very clear. I don't know if this is very easy to see, but hopefully you can see in that top corner there, um, I have sort of worked away at the product and you can see it separate from that green nail polish mark. I don't know if that's very clear. Um, but I can see it. It's easy for me to see progress. I'm not too sure if it's easy for you to see progress, but at least I tried. And hopefully you can see on my MAC Paintly paint pot, there is a big dent in there. So what I've been doing is just shoving my brush all the way, like right into the middle, and it's created this well in there. So I'm actually thinking I might hit pan on that very, very soon, because I feel like it's quite close to the bottom. So I have been using my Paintly paint pot pretty much every time I do my eyeshadow and that well in there is so deep. I'm just not sure if you can see it properly on camera. Um, but I have, I've used this quite a few times, but not anywhere close to what I've been using my Marc Jacobs eyeliner just because I wanted to get that done. So even though I have knocked away a little bit in there, which I'm not, again, I'm not sure if you could see that. Um, yeah, it's, it's, Slow and steady. Oh, one thing I nearly forgot. This was in my shower. I've got my big Dermalogica. This is the special cleansing gel. So I use this as my daily cleanser in the shower. Um, one pump, the pump is pretty big and this product spreads really far. So it's a gel cleanser, but it doesn't foam too much, but it does spread, ooh, throwing that everywhere. It does spread uh, quite far. So I put on my face, down my neck, sort of onto my chest and shoulders. Um, so the pumps, yeah, the, the amount that pumps out is quite a lot. Um, or it just spreads really far, either one. But it was up to here, it's now down to there. So I feel like I've got maybe two or three months left of using it. I've been enjoying it, very, very good. And the last two things I need to weigh. So I've got my mascara that I still use every single day unless I'm wearing absolutely no makeup. Uh, and that, what is, what is the weight? That was at 21.66 grams last month and now it's at 20.6. 03, 19.99. If I breathe, it changes. So it's about 20 grams. I forgot to say what it is. It's the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, and I have been enjoying using it. I will continue to keep using it, um, even though it's probably technically gone off by now. I, I enjoy it. It's great. It's a good mascara. All right, and the last thing is my Joyco Ironclad Thermal Protectant Spray. Now, I actually did forget that this was my project pan, so the first few times I washed my hair at the start of the month, I totally forgot about it. And I only, I think I've maybe used this four or five times, maybe. All right, four or five will do it. This was at 151.84 grams, and now it's about 141. Three grams, so a good 10 grams of use. This contains 198 grams, but it does, if I if I move it around, it feels like there's maybe up to here with liquid. So I can use quite a lot of this. I can use quite a lot just when I'm about to dry my hair. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but at least I'm making progress, especially since the first half of the month, I forgot that it was in my project. So. At least there's some progress. All right, so those are my products for my hashtag team project pan 2021. I'm making some good progress. I can't believe I've used up seven products. I am really behind at doing my empties. I don't, have I done an empties this year? Maybe one, but I've got an empties basket that is almost reaching the ceiling. Not quite, but it is, there's a lot of products. So I might actually have to cherry pick some products from that to do an empties video. I don't want to talk for two hours about sachets that no one cares about. So um, there will be an empties coming up, but it is getting so daunting and overwhelming that I've ignored it for a while. So I will talk about the products I've used up and if I would repurchase them and how much I like them, how much I dis dislike them um, when I finally get around to doing an empties. So that's my update. Hopefully if you're doing a project pan, you're enjoying it. I have heard some feedback of people starting it this year and really loving it and seeing some good progress, which is great to hear. That's what project panning is all about, using your products, enjoying them, uh, getting through them before they're getting too old or funky, um, and just, you know, getting value out of the products you've bought. So um, that's why I love these projects. I think they're fantastic. So that's it for me. I'm rambling. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be my Pan That Palette. So I'll see you then. Bye.